Okay, so you might be looking at this and trying to figure out, wait a minute, how does transformers fit into math? Well, remember, math is just a representation of our world around us. And one of the things that we're learning in this chapter is percents. And we're going to be focusing on how do we change decimals to fractions, decimals to percents, fractions to percents, and vice versa. So I'd like to use this analogy of transformers just because that's what they do, is they transform into something that looks different, but it's still the same person or same robot, Autobot. So like, for example, Bumblebee is a car. He transforms into something different, but he's still Bumblebee. He didn't change. His value stays the same. And that's the important thing to remember is things are going to look different, but they have the same value. Just like you and I look different, but we all have the same value. So our goal is to become an Autobot. And I said Autobot because they're the heroes and we want to be positive. And so, and Bumblebee is my favorite. So we want to be masters at changing. If I gave you a decimal, if I said, what is this as a percent? You would be able to, boom, change it. If this fraction, how do I change it to a percent? Boom, you understand how to do that. So in our daily warm up today, what we did was we reviewed how to change a decimal to a fraction and how to change a fraction to a decimal. So we have these three types of numbers. We have decimals, percents, and fractions. And we're going to need to be able to be Autobots by changing between these different forms. So just to remind you how we change the decimal to a fraction is we say it we write it and we simplify it. So if I have the decimal, let's say it's 0 0.71. Okay, I say it. By saying it, I mean I'm not going to say 0 0.71. It's I look at the last place value, and it's in the hundreds with a th. So I'm going to say it properly and say 71 hundredths. So 71 hundredths as a fraction. I just change this decimal to a fraction. Those are equivalent. And then change a fraction to a decimal we would divide. So if I had the fraction, um, so to change a fraction to a decimal, we're going to divide. And remember, we learned the song, a fraction is a division. So you don't have to make a decision. You take your numerator and divide by your denominator. Okay, so hopefully you remember that song, and that'll help you go from a fraction to a decimal. So our main goal in this video is going to be focusing on how we go back and forth between decimals and percents and how we go back and forth between fractions and percents. So before we get started, what is a percent? So a percent is a ratio. And remember, a ratio is a comparison of two things. So I'm going to compare one number to 100. Okay? Because the special number 100 as a denominator, okay, it's going to be a percent. So this 13% would mean I get 13 out of 100. So this is a 10 by 10 grid. So 13, I could just draw this. I get this slice and this slice. Okay, so, I, so I would get this section. 13% would visually look like this. So remember, to be a percent, it has to have a denominator of 100. Not 99.99999, not 100.1111, has to be 100. So let's take a look at this piece. You don't have to draw this. You don't even have to draw that grid. I just kind of wanted you to see visually what it means to be a percent of a number. Like what portion are you taking and what it, that percent looks like. So here's a pizza. And then here's our grid. And we don't go around and everything doesn't have grids on it. But you can visualize, well, if I was to take 13% of this pizza, it's going to be a little section of it. Okay, 13% is going to be pretty small. So if I went and broke my pizza 
and do 100 little squares, I'm going to get 13 of them. So I get these 10 and then these. So not a lot of pizza. And again, it's kind of the overlap, but we're just estimating here. So you're getting a small portion of the pizza. 13% of this pizza is a pretty small section. So one of the things we're going to work on is changing a percent to a fraction. So the first thing you want to do is you want to put the number in front of the percent sign over 100. Because what does it mean to be a percent? It has a denominator of 100. So let's take a look at this. 7 percent, I'm going to put 7 over 100. Because whenever I see a fraction that has a denominator of 1, it gets that special name as a percent. So that's it. 7% seven is 7 over 100. 7 hundredths. Let's take a look at this one. 61%. I'm asking you, transform this into a fraction. So it's going to be 61 over 100. Now, I'm looking and there's no common factor I can divide from the top and the bottom, so I'm just going to leave it just like that. I have transformed this percent to a fraction. Now, let's take a look at this one, 15%. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is the number in front, 15 over 100. So. I can divide out though, There's it ends in a 0 and a 5, so I can divide out by the copycat of 5 over 5. So 15 divided by 5 is 3, 100 divided by 5 is 20. So we can say 15% transforms into the fraction of 3 20. We need to go backwards. So to take a fraction back to a percent, okay, first thing I need to do is make my denominator over 100 because what does your denominator need to be for a percent? It needs to be 100. So I'm looking at this fraction right here. Mm, it doesn't have a denominator of 100, but I know it needs to turn into to 100. So this is what I call a nice fraction. And what I mean by that is I can just look at this and say, oh, 10 times 10 gives me 100. And if I multiply student number 10 by 10, I'm going to multiply the student number 3 by 10. And what I mean by that is you want to keep it fair. Whatever you do to the numerator or denominator, you have to do to the numerator and vice versa. So 3 times 10 is 30. Oh, look at that. Now that it's over 100, I can call it a percent, so 30%. And let's take a look at this one again. It needs to have a denominator of 100. So how does a 50 turn into 100? I multiply it by 2. And if I multiply the bottom by 2, I have to multiply the top by 2. So 1 times 2 is 2. Now, 2 over 100. That would be 2%. A lot of people were saying in class, oh, it's going to be 20%. No, 2% because the number over 100 is only 2. All right, again, you, these ones are nice fractions, and I can just look at it and say, oh, how does a 5 turn into 100? 5 times 20. So if I multiply the denominator by 20, I have to multiply the numerator by 20. 4 times 20 is 80. Oh, look at that. It's over 100. I can call it 80%. Okay. It has transformed from this fraction to this percent. It's still the same value. So if somebody said, you know what, I'll give you four-fifths of my paycheck or 80%. You can look at them and say, duh, that's the same thing. I don't care. Give me the four fifths because it's the same thing. It just looks a little different. It is transformed. Okay, so don't have to write this down again, but let's just take a look at what we've done. Decimals to fractions, we say it, write it, simplify. Fractions to decimal, think of the fraction rat. Fraction is a division, so you don't have to make a decision. Take your numerator, divide it by your denominator. Now, Percent to fraction, we write it over 100. Fraction to percent, we need to get our fraction to have a denominator of 100. 
So the last thing we're going to work on is this right here. So let's take a look at this. When you're changing a decimal to a percent, what you're technically going to do is you're going to multiply by 100 and add your percent sign. Now, your shortcut, and we'll be practicing this though so you get a real understanding of what you're doing. The shortcut is to move the decimal two places to the right. Okay? And so I have this over here because this is the alphabet. D is, would be on the left, P would be over on the right. So to go from a decimal to percent, if I'm walking on the alphabet to get from D to P, I would have to move to the right. So a bird has two wings, a healthy normal bird has two wings, and I'm going to move it over two places to the left. Every time I multiply by a 10, it moves my decimal over once. So I'm multiplying by 100, so it's going to move over twice. So this is going to be 13%. You can also, like if you change this decimal to a fraction, say it, write it, simplify, this would be 13 hundredths, so 13 over 100, boom, 13%. Okay? But kind of the shortcut is to move your decimal two places to the right. All right, again, we're going to, a bird has two wings, so I'm only going to move it to the right twice. So I'm multiplying by 100, and I'm going to go 1, 2, and it's going to give me 4%, not 40%. A lot of people want to say 40%, okay? That would be a three-wing bird. And let's take a look at this one. So again, I'm going to move my decimal two places to the left. So one, two, and then add my percent sign, 2.7%. So I've gone from this decimal to a percent. Again, gone from this decimal to a percent. Now let's take a look at this one. You could always do two tenths Oh, that's how I would say it, two-tenths as a fraction, that fraction would need to turn into a denominator of 100. Okay. So I would multiply it by 10, multiply it by 10, and that would give me 20. Oh, look, 20 over 100, 20%. Okay. But one of the shortcuts is to say, okay, well, I'm going from my decimal to a percent, so I'm going to be moving right on the alphabet. So a bird has two wings, so I go one, two, and then I put my decimal. I need to add a zero whenever I have an empty space. So this becomes 0 0.2 is going to equal 20 percent, okay, because notice I filled it in with a zero. Okay, so if you're comfortable um, changing the denominator to 100 and you want to do it that way, that's fine. Also, shortcut, move the decimal over two places to the right. All right, so we're almost there. Now we're going to go from a percent to a decimal. So just like we multiplied by 100 to go one way, we're going to go the other way by dividing by 100. So here's what I mean by that. So 14%, if I was to write that as a fraction, 14 over 100. So if I divided this, 14 by 100, because remember your numerator divided by your denominator. And doesn't go in there, so I have to add a zero. So 100 goes into 140 once, and that's going to give me 100. And you'd be left with 40, add another zero, so it's going to be 4. That's my decimal. So 14% okay, changed it transformed into 0 0.14 or 14 hundredths. So our shortcut though is to move the decimal two places to the left. Now your decimal right now is hanging out right here. So a bird has two wings, remember our normal birds have two wings and you're gonna go one, two, okay, and drop the percent sign. So one of the ways to remember is you're going from your percent 
to a decimal. Okay, so you're moving on your alphabet. P, if you want it to get from a percent and move to the D on the alphabet, oh, I'm going to have to move left. So 9%. Okay, a couple of, again, different ways you can write it as a fraction okay, and then divide. Or you can move your decimal two places to the left. So 9%, I'm going to rewrite this. So you can see the decimal right now is here. So I'm going to move it one, two. Whenever I have an empty spot, I put in a zero. So that's going to equal 0 0.09. Okay, just like 7% would equal 0 0.07. And let's take a look and you're like, oh, you can have a decimal in the percents? Absolutely, especially um, we tend to have more decimals because we want to be more precise. So here we go, 75.5%. Now you're not going to see an ad in the store that says, oh, 75.5% off. Okay, They're going to round it to 75. So again, but it's the same process. I'm going to move my decimal two places to the left Okay, because I'm going from a percent to a decimal, and then I drop the percent sign. So this percent transformed into this decimal. 